Good afternoon, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. We are doing a 12 box inner case of 2017 Panini Diamond Kings Baseball. Right there on the site. Check that. It's actually 2018, the current year. 12 box, 2018 Panini Diamond Kings Baseball. There's everyone in the break right here. Chris. Last Spot Mojo, Detroit Tigers, and there's everybody else. And we randomized the rays to someone in the break. So at the very end, any rays, cards, or inserts, or numbered cards, or hits that pop out, we will uh, randomize to someone at the end of the break. All right, now, the full case is right here. Big 24-box case, 12-box inners. So we're going to figure out which inner case we're going to do. So let me pop that open first. Have a large case. So we'll do the usual one, two, three for the left side right here, and four, five, six for the right side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Using this guy. And all the way over there, it's number three, so it'll be the left side. I marked it L for left right there, and I marked that one PYT6. You can kind of see it right there on the camera, PYT number six. And that is for next time, and that is for, uh, that's already on the site, because you can start picking your teams, jazbeeshobbyland.com. Yes, Rich, that is our only case. Our only case. So we only have those two inner case breaks. All right, good luck, everybody. All right, so there's some back here. Might be the cleanest way to do it. So there's three banks of four right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Everyone kind of sees that right there. There you go. All right, get comfortable, folks. Here we go. So just to refresh our memories, two autographs or memorabilia cards per box on average. The MIC. On the box, eight cards per pack, 12 packs per box. We'll see you in about an hour. So since this is 2018, of course, all the all the new rookies are in play here. Otani, of course, for the Angels. Ronald Acuna for the Braves. Et cetera, et cetera. As most of you know, in uh, in breaks like this, along with a lot of cards, no vet base will be shipping. But all the rookie cards, all the inserts, and variations and whatnot will we'll ship out. All right. Uh, Landon's asking, are all the cards that have 
that tech all the cards have that this texture right here so it's all that this matte sort of finish So I think the ones that are flipped around like this are some sort of short printer variation, so we'll set those aside. Obviously, stuff like this will be shipping. You know, rookie rookie cards, Delmonico will be shipping. Inserts like this past and present will obviously ship. Frame stuff will ship, of course. Justin Turner will ship. I think you guys get the idea. There's Margot, and there's Portraits Joe Morgan. These Otanis will, of course, ship. And this autograph will ship. Zach Granite, rookie signatures for the Twins. That'll go to Sanford and the Twins. Nice. Nice variation on that Otani. Yeah, there's a lot of lot of Otani variations in this. The square borders on the back are variations. Yeah, that's what I think too, right? I think most of those are are flipped around. which helps. I think the shipping team already know that too, so I think we'll be good. All right. Buster Posey frame, Gallery of Stars, Otani, Walker Bueller, and your relic is, dual relic, Dallas Keuchel. That'll be for Chris Miller and the Astros. There you go, Chris. Aaron Judge, you got a nice sepia inside that red frame. And there's box one. Stack these aside here. Now each box ha usually has a few uh, Otanis in there, which are pretty cool. Some of these parallels actually still sell pretty well. They're relatively common, but these they seem to sell well on a, uh, on a secondary market, so it's, it's pretty cool. All right, next box. Good luck, everybody. What are what are our uh, our baseball scores today? Did the wow? Did the Nationals Yankees game get postponed again? Looks like it. So they've got an unfinished game. I feel like right from the sixth inning on yesterday. Game was tied. I don't know how they're gonna resolve that. And then it looks like today's game was postponed as well. What's going on out there? Rain, wind, sleet, snow. Reds being the Giants, 6-3. Texas over the Mariners, 5-1. Brewers over the Diamondbacks, 8-2. Tampa Bay edging out the Royals in Kansas City, 5-3. Indians shutting out the Detroit Tigers, 6-0. St. Louis, 7-5 over the Twins. Toronto putting the hurt. On the Mets, 12-1. Pirates edging out the White Sox, 3-2. And the Phillies beat the uh, Orioles in Baltimore, 4-1. And we've got some games in progress, too. Or games warming up, almost in progress. There's Kershaw frame. Hopefully he'll get healthy soon. Nice Walker Bueller.
And we've got Jose Abreu, 34 out of 99, two color dual relic for the White Sox. D Mac on the board with the White Sox. I always like the way this Diamond Kings looked. I like the uh, the artwork. Man, Robinson Cano gets the upside down treatment right there. You guys should know better. Got pop for the roids for the PEDs. It's Jackie Robinson, Otani portraits. Guess he's using the old. Uh, yeah, the doctor gave me something that I didn't know that was. On the on the big list, Clint Frazier, and Victor Robles is your dual relic and autograph. Eighty-seven out of two ninety-nine. That's a big name. He's supposed to be the real deal. Holy Field, Chris Callantine, for the National with the Nationals. If he gets called up, I think the idea is that he's he's gonna rake. And the last bit here. Nice Otani, black and white as well. Poor Yachty. Down with an injury. All right, there you go. Set the part of breaking is just figuring out how to organize your table. <laughs> Set that right there. Well, well, we will continue to shame Robinson Cano like that. Next box. Oakland and uh, and Boston are warming up. I think Oakland's taken a couple games in that series already, right? In Boston, my hatless Dodgers facing the Mariner or Marlins pretty soon, and then a little bit later this evening we'll have the Cubs in Atlanta in a little bit, and then a little bit later after that the Astros are in town. They are about an hour or so south of us in Anaheim facing the Angels. Which has been uh which has been a good series. All right, moving on. There's perfect game right there. Just the camera a little bit. All right. Roberto Clemente, red frame. There's Tommy Heinrich. Some of those frames that have different colors, they'll be they'll be serial numbered. There's, there's even like one of one frames too. JD Davis. There's Roger Clemens. Wow, autograph. Two color, dual relic, out of 75. 12 out of 75, Roger Clemens Astros edition. That'll go to Chris Miller. It's Miller time. He's got a nice auto, too. Game used material as well. That's nice. And Kyle Farmer for my Dodgers. Two color dual relic. One of the younger players coming up the ranks with the Dodgers. Not just a catcher, but he's been playing like third base too. He's been he's been moved around a little bit. I think that's one one good thing about the Dodgers, they have a lot of positional flexibility. Got Justin Turner back. They're finally getting some guys healthy, so that's been a good thing. I guess it's still early in the season, right? Kind of. <laughs> oh. 
Nice, another black and white Otani. I'm actually surprised someone was telling me how well those these uh, those Otani still sell on, on, on a secondary market. Because I was like, well, by now, you know, every box seems to have like, you know, two to five Otani like cards. And I'm surprised that they still that they still do well on a secondary market. I think someone the other day was like, yeah, that, that one still sells for like 10 bucks. I was like, really? There must have been like a dozen of those pulled by now. They're like, yeah, people are still buying. That's a good thing. All right, next box. Good luck, everybody. Let's take a quick look at the standings. The AL East, New York Yankees. Just a game over the Red Sox. 28 and 12 is their record. Red Sox are 28 and 14. Sox are playing tonight, though. And that game was suspended. Today's game. Postponed. I feel like that's going to be the way it is the entire season, right? Yankees will go a couple games ahead. And the Red Sox will go a couple games ahead. I, th I feel like they'll just keep switching positions. That at, at certain point, it'll just be whoever has the last hot streak at the end of the season might be might be the team that wins that division. I guess the wild card's got to come out of there too. I think they've got the they've got a pretty good second place. Will have a pretty good record. They're gonna go neck and neck the entire season. Then it's Toronto, seven and a half games, games back, and then Tampa Bay and Baltimore. So we'll see if those guys challenge at all. There's Ozzy Albius. What a season for him thus far. DK materials for Mike Koontz and the Bravos. We got Joe Jackson, a red frame. There's Otani. And we've got Artist Proof, Lou Gehrig to 99. More Otani. So those those Otanis will sleeve up as well as those numbered cards. Those will be top loaded before they get before they get sent out to you. Obviously these frames will go. There's Carson Kelly, two color, dual relic, and autograph out of 299 for the Cardinals. Scott V. There you go, Scott. On the board. Ted Williams variation. Ichiro, who's retired but kind of not. I think he's still on the. I think he still hangs out with the Mariners. There's Bobby Thompson. Tony Gwynn, Gallery of Stars. Another box in the books. So this you can tell, Splendid Splinter, though different name variation down there. Those will obviously ship. All right, next box. AL Central is a little weird because the first place team is only 500. The the Indians, 21 and 21, they're just sitting at 500 right now. But they lead the they lead the AL Central by a game and a half over the Twins, who are 18 and 21, under 500. Tigers only two games back, 19 and 23, and then there's the Royals and the White Sox bringing up the rear. Kind of weird. 21, just 21 and 21. For the for the uh, for the tribe, 
kind of a slow start for them too. I feel like I feel like Minnesota with a, with, a, with a little pitching can uh can turn things around. They've got some good uh got some good hitting though. That'll that'll come around. That'll come around too. They'll you know, stay consistent. Some young players there. They scored a boatload of runs last year. Sub to Grouch. That's right. We are we are in Diamond Kingsville right now. The king is dead. Long live the king. Cody Bellinger, there's the gray frame right there, 16 out of 99. Those are cool. That goes to the Dodgers, of course. Chris with that one. And then there's Stan Musial. This will go into the Otani pile over here. Billy Herman, artist proof for the Cubs out of 99. More Otani. Kirby Puckett. And Nolan Arenado. Original materials. Nice two color dual relic. Game used material. I didn't realize they had MMA fighters in this set. Lauren Arenado is in here, though. That goes to Paul Coolwit with the Rockies. Nice. Nolan Ryan. Chuck Klein. Morotani and Tiago Vieira, eight out of fifteen. Nice dual relic. White Sox with that one. Nice. So those lower number ones are on a thicker card stock too. That's pretty cool. Uh, Dmac with the White Sox, with the South Siders. Nice, you got like the nice nice colors in that relic too. Nice White Sox colors in there, excellent. There's the Bay, Babe Ruth, Sultan of Swat variation. Mookie Betts, blank card, portraits, Ty Cobb, Paul Wayner, red frame. And that is that for that one. So nice hits out of that box. Moving on, we're uh, just about halfway there. We are making making some solid time here, ladies and gentlemen. I think, I think my my estimation of about an hour for this break is holding true. Although this doesn't feel like it's a long break. A lot of a lot of inserts to kind of to to distract you. I think. Uh, AL West, Astros ahead of the Angels by just a game, 27-17. Angels are 25-17. They're playing each other tonight, so that can change a little bit. Mariners are right there, even though there's Robinson Cano upside down. Even though Robinson Cano embarrassing himself, getting popped for PEDs. But they're, they still have got a strong record, 24-18, and 18, to only two games back. Then there's the Oakland A's. They're sitting at a nice 500, 21, 21. And the Rangers bringing up the rear, 17, 25. Mariners could be pretty easy. Could, could, could be, uh, not, not easy, uh, pretty, uh, pretty interesting, that is. See how they, how they operate the rest of the season. I wonder if they could, they could squeeze, sneak into a wild card spot. That could be interesting. Uh, this is a 12-box a break to Gru, so this is a 12-box uh, inner. box inner case break. The second inner case break is in the store right now, jaspieshobbyland.com. If 
you want to pick your teams. Another Zach Granite. We got one earlier. 21 out of 49. Some nicer colors in that patch, though. So that'll head out to another one for Sanford and the Twins. Miguel Andujar started off the season nicely. Getting some good playing time. The Yankees got a lot of young players on that team. It's kind of scary. Madison Bumgarner is supposedly on a rehab start next week, I think. That's Eric Fed, Mickey Mantle. More Otani. And Dallas Keuchel. W weren't these guys in the same box earlier? 47 out of 99 this time. I think the last one wasn't numbered. For the Astros, another dual relic for Chris Miller and the Strohs. Game used material as well. That's cool. All right, another box in the books. A lot of nice variations, a lot of Otanis. Oh, got a little bit more, sorry. More Otani, nice brown frame Otani. More Otani. Past and present. The Moose. That's a nice one there. 36 out of 49 on that frame. That's pretty cool. That goes. So Mary Lou has been getting all of those Otanis. Nice Mary Lou. All right. We are, uh, we are halfway through the break, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, it is kind of like... I don't know why they do the 12 box inners like that. The, the case is absolutely massive. It's hard to, I had to actually, if you watch the beginning of this video, DeGroote, you, you'll see that I opened up the case out there just because, just to give myself some room. Why not just have the standard 12 box case? I don't, I don't know what the intention was of that. I don't think there's any, I don't think there's like case hits or anything like that. So I don't know if that was the reason. I'd like to know. There must, there must, there has to be a reason. I like the packaging, though. It, it, this rips really nicely. This this would go into my Diamond Kings would go this year's 2018 Diamond Kings would go into my top ten of easiest packs to rip, cleanest, fastest, easiest. If there was a pack ripping contest, I would I would probably use this or 2017 18 Upper Deck Ice also had really nice fast packs that didn't fall apart in your hands. It's ripped nice, clean, and easy. These are the things that case breakers think about, folks. Tiago Vieira again for the White Sox. Got Roger Maris frame. Andrew Benintendi ver sepia variation. George Kelly frame. Ozzy Albius variation. And Rafael Devers. Nice. Two color, dual relic, and autograph. 191 out of 299. Some nice hits out of here thus far. Uh, Jeffrey S. with the Red Sox.
Did I? I don't remember Bowman Chrome as well. How how well those packs ripped. All right. Some more Otani for the Otani pile. Carlos Correa frame. Pitching Otani. And there you have another box in the books. Oh, I should drop the schedule. Coming up after this, I think we're on. I think we're on schedule. Time subject to change. Right. Next box. I think Bowman baseball this year for some reason. Those packs just kind of shredded in my hands when I was trying to open those. Oh, nice. You, you. So you got a blaster box last night, says Zagruj. And you got Otani paper base, so it basically paid for the box. Right. It's crazy. I mean, he's still delivering. That's the crazy part. You know, everyone thought, oh, okay, I mean, he's got a week under his uh, hot streak. No, he's, the guy's still hitting. The guy's still pitching well. Maybe I, th I think they're just trying to figure out. Angels are just trying to figure out. Hey, how do how do we keep him like healthy? What's what's like the right schedule? I think no one knows that yet across a major league season. But if we find a nice sweet spot, maximizes hitting and and the innings that he pitches. Be pretty incredible. All right. Next one, Odubel Herrera. There's Joe Jackson, another variation. Juan Gon Gonzalez, autograph as well. Two color, dual relic, and Juan Gon Gonzalez is a nice auto. 135 out of 299 for the Rangers. That goes to Chris. Chris Callantine with that one. Game used material as well, Chris. That's nice. Carlos Correa, one out of 15, Jersey Kings, two-color relic. That goes to another Chris, Chris Miller. The Chris is hitting. And Texas as well, the state of Texas. Frazier, J.D. Davis. So those are your two hits. Let's see if we got any more variations or parallels. Victor Robles, black and white. That's a nice one for the Nationals. There we go. Walker Bueller, artist proof to 99. I think Walker Bueller is, uh, is pitching tonight. He's had a good start to his season early on. So black and white artist proof to 99. He's certainly been a nice bright spot for the Dodgers this season. All right, so let's set those over here. Let's move these cards over here. Let's move Robinson Cano over here. All right. Good luck. Walker is starting today. Excellent. Yeah. So hopefully he'll, he'll be able to break that 
five game losing streak the Dodgers are on. Uh, in the uh, speaking of the National League, National League NL East, Braves are still still up there, twenty five and sixteen, half game ahead of the Phillies, twenty four and sixteen, trailed by the Nationals who are twenty four and eighteen, just a game and a half back. Someone told me, it, you know, in, if someone told me in February, hey Joe, the Braves and the and the Phillies are going to be in first and second place, or battling for first place on by May 16th, 2018, I would have been like, uh, <laughs> uh, probably not. I wouldn't, I don't think I'd take action on that. I don't know if the odds would be, if it would be that great. But yet, there they are. Uh, Mets are still right there, too. They're only four games back, 20-19. and 19, And the Marlins, who seem to have the Dodgers number, they're 15-26. They're and 26. I think at least five of those, those 15 wins, I'm pretty sure, are from the Dodgers. Uh, there's eight out of ten. Addy Joss? Game use material. I don't know who this guy is. HOF. Is he an HOF? Yes, Addy Joss. What What's his story? He was, uh, Cle adventure. Cleveland Indians is, is is where that goes. Look at that old Chris Callantine. Look at that old school material there, Chris. Got some old faded pinstripes in there. Old Cleveland pinstripes. All that wool there. Oh, that's a nice. Uh, that's not. Plus wins. That's pretty cool. Nicknamed the Human Hairpin. We're gonna learn about Chris Zombie, who's uh, who got this hit right here. Chris Callantine with this one. So Chris, in case you don't know who Addy Joss is, born in 1880, passed away in 1911. That's 1911. How old is this? Nicknamed the Human Hairpin, an American League pitcher in baseball. For Cle I'm assuming this goes to the Indians, right? Yeah. Right, Cleveland Indians Hall of Fame. He played on the Cleveland Bronchos slash Naps from 1902 to 1910, which I think soon afterwards probably turned into the Indians after that. Wow, that's crazy. Hall of Fame in 1978 by the Veterans Committee, MLB wins leader 1907, two-time MLB ERA leader, pitched a perfect game in 08. Uh, had a record of 160 and 97, 1.89 ERA. There you go. Addy Joss, we've learned something new today, folks. I've learned something new today. Maybe some people already knew. There's Nolan Ryan. We know him. And there's Max Freed. Two color, dual relic, 269, 299 for the Bravos. That'll be for Mike Koontz. There's Longo, more Otani portraits. George Kelly, red frame. And we've got three boxes to go. Uh, Max, I yes, I have heard of Kiki Coolier. He's Kyler. Kyler, is it? Name sounds familiar. Couldn't tell you anything about him, but uh, these this will be randomized. I think this does pretty well on a secondary market too. The Mickey Mantle, Mike Trout, past present card. I think I think ones that are numbered do are pretty strong as well. All right, so nice hit right here too, Addy Joss.
Oh, you got a two of seven relic of his? Is he... I want to say he's a twin or a diamond or a Tampa Bay Ray or something like that. I don't know. I, is he? Maybe? I see blue and red in, that, in his uniform. <laughs> Maybe I'm way off. What team is he on? Oh, way off. Pirates? Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't sound like a pirate. to last box. Good luck, everybody. There's 29 out of 49. Moose Skoron. There's Willie Calhoun. Moro Tani. Lou Gehrig, red frame. Pee Wee Reese, variation for the Dodgers. And Kirby Puckett, nice. 18 out of 20 for the Twins. Kirby Puckett. Sanford with the Twinkies. Game use material, nice. That's cool. That's very cool. And we've got Brian Anderson for the Marlins. 14 out of 49. Dual relic and autograph. That'll go to Chris Callantine. Oh, there, there's Kiki right here. He's a cub in this one. What? There's an easy way to remember the proper way to say... Coyler's nickname, which is pronounced Kai Kai and not Kiki. It's Kai Kai. Oh, it says the back of the card says Kai Kai. Boss man? It's always been oh, Additional trivia. There's a red frame. Let's play two. Japanese Babe Ruth on that one. On that Otani. That's a nice variation. And, and that box. All right, let's move the frames, throw the frames around, move the frames over here. Let's sleeve up this guy. Let's move the hits over here, the variations over here. All right, two more boxes to go. What's up, Evan? It's going great, breaking. Busy day. We've got we've got breaks lined up already. So after this, we'll be going to the autograph baseballs break. Here, I'll drop the schedule so people know where where we're at right now. All right. A uh, quick look at the last two divisions right here. NL Central. The Pirates are tied with the Brew Crew. I mean, I think essentially in a tie. Percentage points. Behind 25 and 17 for the Pirates, 26 and 18 for the Brewers. Cardinals are right behind them, 23 and 17, just a game back. And so are the Cubs. That's going to be a battle to the finish. Pirates, Brewers, Cardinals, and Cubs. Which team will fade first, folks? Pirates, Brewers, Cardinals, or Cubs? You would think, I mean, be, before the season started, you wouldn't think that the Pirates would be there. But they are, so maybe they're for real. <coughs> I 
mean, I wonder if they think that they have the... If they're still, like, in first or second by, like, the end of July, you you got to think they make some moves, right? <coughs> I don't know what, for what particularly, but you think you got to think they got to make some moves, shore up that team, and say, screw it, let's, let's see what happens in the playoffs. All right, we got Luis Severino, original material, 67 out of 99. Nice pinstripe in there, too. That goes to the Bronx Bombers for Mary Lou. He's having a great season. Thomas Nito. Rotani, Nick Williams, Nolan Ryan variation, and we've got Dansby Swanson autograph. He's got a nice auto for the high flying Braves, Mike Kuntz. Nice autograph. Stand the man, red frame. And the second to last box done. Last box coming up. This has been a solid uh, solid 12 box break, ladies and gentlemen. Second half is in the store, jazpiecehobbyland.com. I feel like this break, it's an hour long. It doesn't feel like an hour long, though. I think it, it moves rather quickly. All right, last division, NL West. Everybody's struggling in the NL West. Everyone has got their streak is L1, 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 L5, L1. Or win one. Padres won last night. They've been kind of, they've been kind of struggling. The Arizona Diamondbacks are three and seven in their last ten. Rockies are five and five in their last ten. Giants are three and seven in their last ten. Dodgers are two and eight in their last ten. And the and the Padres are five and five in their last ten. There's this division. The entire NL West has not been playing well. In fact. This would have been a good spot for the Dodgers to make to gain some ground for my Dodgers gain some ground, but they've lost five in a row, not gaining any ground. Diamondbacks are still ahead with a comfortable twenty-five and eighteen record. They're two games ahead of the Rockies, who are twenty-three and twenty. Giants are at five hundred, twenty-two and twenty-two. Dodgers are eight and a half games back at sixteen and twenty-five. The Padres are only a half game behind the Dodgers at seventeen and twenty-seven. All right, last box, folks. Black and white Otani. Nice variation there. Chance Cisco, 34 out of 99. The Cisco Kid going to the Orioles. Karen with the O's. One of their young and up and coming prospects, I think. Brooks Robinson, red frame. Otani, Gallery of the Stars. Otani hitting, Verdugo variation, there's Gabby Hartnett, Lloyd Wainer, Otani pitching, and Tom Glavin signing, look at that. 16 out of 99. Nice autograph. Tom Glavin. Mike Coots with the Bravos. Getting the old Braves legend. I'm pretty sure that he was uh pretty sure he was drafted to a hockey team, right? I think he was a good he was a great hockey player too. I don't know how many 
How many two-sport guys were baseball and hockey? All right, there's Woodruff, Red Frame. Those aren't numbered. And Honus Wagner at the end. There you have it, folks. Joe for Jaspies, Hobbyland.com. That is your break. We've got two quick randomizers to do. One for the Yankees Angels randomizer, unless Mary Lou has both. She does, actually. She has the Yankees, she has the Angels. So this goes to you, Mary Lou. Nice. So only one randomizer, too, and that would be for the uh, for any Rays cards that were in there. There were no Rays in the break. Or a Rays, no Rays hits, I think, so... In case there are any inserts or anything like that, we will randomize it to one person in the break after uh, three and a six, nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. Name on top after nine times will be Chris. So there you go, Chris. Uh, I, I don't remember any ra uh, raised cards, but if there are any, they'll go to you. Thanks, everybody. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. That was Pick Your Team 5 of 2018 Diamond Kings Baseball. Uh, Pick Your Team 6 in the store right now. So check it out at jazbeeshobbyland.com. Thanks, everybody. We'll break with you next time. Bye-bye.